Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll continue on the part 1 of assessing method. We will discuss about the random access protocol. So in random access uh, method, uh, we have protocol that we call as the CSMA. So CSMA is carrier sense multiple access. Okay. What is the random access? In the random access, uh, there's a uh, when we talk about the multiple access, we have multiple stations. So there are several stations that communicate in the same network. In that station, when we talk about the random access protocol, uh, there is there is no superior stations that can control over another devices. So no station permits or does not permit another station to send. So everyone or every station, every device in the network has the right to send the data. Uh, so at each instance, a station that has data to send use a procedure defined by the protocol to make a decision on whether or not to send the data. So uh, basically the keywords in random access protocol, there is no superior station and every station has the right in order to send the data. So in multiple access, uh, we go for the CSMA and the CSMA is divided into another category. Uh, this one is the uh, evolution of the multiple access protocol. We have the CSMA and then we improve the CSMA we introduced the CSMA CD, uh, collision detection, and then we also have the CSMA CE, collision avoid. So basically, uh, the main part we have multiple access uh, protocol, and it, uh, based on the multiple access protocol, uh, it evaluate uh, it, uh, it improve. We improve the, the protocol. And then we introduce the CSMA, Carrier Sense Multiple Access. And then based on the CSMA, we come up with the CSMA slash CD and CSMA slash CA. So why CSMA is developed? Uh, this protocol is developed in order to increase the performance and to reduce the chance of collision. Okay, what is the collision? Collision is an uh, accident. Uh, when a lot of data travel through the network based on their link, there are possibility of the data uh, crash into the other or crash into the each other. As an analogy, uh, let's say we have a highway, highway with uh, a lot of vehicle and transportation that use the same highway so the possibility of accident occur higher compared to the highway that only have several uh, vehicle that use that highway so each station uh, will listen first at the medium before it can send the packet or the data so basically, the CSME is based on the principle uh, listen before you talk or sense before you transmit the data. It's just like uh, when we have a meeting, before we talk, we take the permission first or we wait. If there is no one there, talk, then you can talk. So the CSMA is based on the, the, the principle, listen before you talk. If there is someone talk, so you need to wait until your turn to talk. Okay, that are the principle of CSMA. So carry sense, multiple access. So it sends first before it can transmit the data. So the possibility of collision still exists because of the propagation delay. That's mean using this protocol, using this method, the collision still can happen, but we just reduce or minimize the percentage of the collision happen. 
So when a station sends a frame, it still takes time for the first bit to reach to every station and for every station to send it. So that's why the, the possibility of collision still there, still exists, but we can reduce or minimize it. Okay, look at this figure. This one is the space-time model of the collision in the CSA. A. So let's say we have four station A, B, C, and D. Okay, this one is the stations in the bus topology, and then this one is the timeline. So we have time one, time two, and maybe time three, time four, and so on. Okay, B station or B device start at Time one, so it try to uh, send the data. Station C start at time number two when they want to send the data. So at this area, A uh, sending the data exit exists. At this point, area where B signal. Uh, send the data exits. But C, sorry, C, send the data uh, at time 2. So this area are the area where both signal exist. Means that at the same time, uh, B signal exists and the C signal also exist. So that are uh, the space time of collision in this SME, the potential. Because uh, during that time, uh, we can have the signal, or the data from the B station and we also have the uh, data or packet from the C station. Okay, and then this part, uh, this figure show the vulnerable vulnerable time in the CSMA. So we still have the four station A, B, C and D and then at the time this one is the timeline. So B sends here, C will sense at here and D will sense at here. So this one we call as the vulnerable a time or the propagation time for those station in the same network. So basically, the CSMA use the pers uh, the persistent strategies, and the persistent strategies are divided into three category. So the next video we will discuss more on the persistent strategy on the CSMA uh, protocol. So until this part, you should know what is the CSMA and what are the uh, definition of the random access protocol. There is no station that control to other stations and it based on the principle sends before it transmits the data. So that's all. Thank you and assalamualaikum.